There are two reasons that this is a wonderful book. One is because it is a magisterial tome written by a intellectual and I think big-hearted scientist about the mathematics of how creatures must form. The second thing that's wonderful about this book is you can reliably send my toddler into a helpless giggling fit by going, no, 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 not Darcy Wentworth Thompson's on growth and form, the complete revised edition. Dear reader, it works like a charm every time. And it is actually the complete revised edition that brings pathos to this book because Thompson wrote this book during World War I. He was too old to serve. He was a scientist. He had nothing else to do. And so he wrote this amazing book. Uh, that is still a textbook today. And then he revised it during World War II. Could you imagine doing that while the whole world went completely insane and you just sat there and worked on your science because you knew it would matter again eventually? He begins his book with an exhortation to biologists that you have to understand math, that it is integral to how uh, animals form, that for such a long time we were thinking, oh, it just... Nature finds a really beautiful solution, but no, it is forced into the only option or the most efficient option available to it. As he says, the form of, ob of an object is a diagram of forces. You need to know math, and this is a very math-heavy book, similar to how the great synthesis of genetics invading biology and that the, the math of genes dictates um, – how animals are going to eat, who they're going to mate with, their behavior. It's in the math of these things. It's unavoidable. And math, and this is that idea of math underlying the entire universe. Um, but you just let these books roll over you. Don't worry about the math if you don't care about the math. I don't care about the math. I care that this guy starts off with not only references to Aristotle and some great novels, also to uh, Gulliver's Travels. And he uh, throws roses to, to Swift for making his giants uh, uh, the correct size in proportion to regular humans and doing the math of that. Though he said it wouldn't actually work that way. If you made humans 10 times larger, we would have quite different proportions because of uh, – muscles being volumetric. Um, and so it's a really delightful read. And I'm not reading it for the math. I'm reading it for all of the tidbits I learned about biology, but also what he slips in about what's important about life. He's really a beautiful soul, and it's a treasure to read. I might not finish it in my lifetime, but I'm going to keep going on it. And this is a, a great addition from Dover. And you can find this book online as well. With books like this, just read the intro. You don't have to read all of it if you stop getting into it. But the intro alone, you get such a great insight into what a cool guy Darcy Wentworth Thompson was.